Very good evening to everybody. Uh, before I begin uh, the speech, uh, I just wanted to um, see a show of hands uh, for anybody that uh, has not yet been to Angola. Raise your hand. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. I saw a lot of familiar faces, but it's good to see uh, new people coming in, and you are in the right place, uh, right in the right place. And we want you to come and visit us in Angola and join the rest of us that uh, 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 have been um, going through this uh, journey of success in the oil and gas industry in Angola. So with that, I will start the, the, the speech. Uh, it's not uh, going to be a big speech. Uh, because, um, I'm, like I said, I'm still learning. Uh, His Excellen or, uh, Excellency, Ms. Anna Paula Nascimen, Consul of the uh, Republic of Angola in Houston, Excellency Engineer Barroso, Secretary of State of Petroleum and Gas, Excellencies, uh, Partners and Friends of uh, Angola, Angola Oil and Gas Industry, dear representatives of the energy companies, either currently investing or looking to do so. So, like I said, you're in the right place. Uh, dear investors, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, on behalf of Mr. Paulino Geronimo, our chairman, and uh, also on behalf of uh, NPG, I would like to first thank uh, Energy Capital for putting this together. Um, and also thank you all for making the time to be here with us today. Um, I know you have a busy schedule, so uh, thank, you again for, thank you again for being here. As you know, Angola uh, has a rich history in the oil and gas industry, dating back to about 100 years. Uh, our initial exploration activities started in 1910, and then in the 1960s we had uh, first production, and then from then on it's been success, uh, growing and growing uh, production. In the early 2000s, we had our deep water projects uh, coming online, and we were able to reach our milestone of uh, producing about 1.9 million barrels of oil per day in 2008. Uh, one of the things that we've been very good at is our agility and focus on uh, acting at the right time, find solution, whether it's legal, contractual, fiscal, uh, to ensure that uh, there is stability, but uh, also improving upon on the lessons learned that uh, we uh, uh, see happening around the world. And this has uh, helped us be very, com very competitive, attractive, and uh, uh, for the most part, be a place of choice for your investment. And I hope uh, the ones that are in Angola continue to invest and we are determined to create conditions for you to continue to invest in Angola. For those that are not yet, please come and see me and we'll find a place for you. Uh, many of uh, uh, you in the room, if not all, are part of the institutions that uh, have been partners with uh, uh, the, the state in creating together this journey of success. And I would like to emphasize again that uh, we are very focused on keeping it going, uh, keeping the, this journey of success for all of us, always trying to find the right solutions uh, to make sure that uh, you have the return on your investment and the conditions are created for you to recover your, your investment. Uh, we do believe in win-win solutions for all parties and are very focused on ensuring, uh, again, a favorable return and we've been able to, uh, specifically last year, go around the world and listen to your voices. And we were able to incorporate uh, a lot of what you told us into our contractual terms to make sure that the conditions that uh, you were looking for were in place for you to uh, continue to invest. Uh, we do have a wide range of opportunities, 14 blocks. You see that those on the map. On the right hand side, you'll see 14 blocks there offshore. Um, 
eight in shallow water and six in deep water. Uh, high potential blocks from proven uh, basins, most of it. On the left hand side, you'll see eight blocks, onshore blocks, that are uh, from uh, Congo and Kwanza basins. Uh, these blocks have been part of uh, our uh, journey early in the uh, 60s, but because of the Civil War, the activities were stopped. So we are now going back to those blocks, and they also have high perspectivity. So we invite you to also take a look at the onshore as well as offshore. Uh, the, the, uh, in, in recent years, uh, in addition to being very focused on creating conditions for uh, the major oil companies, we were also very um, uh, much looking to create conditions for small, medium-sized companies as well. We do believe the opportunities we have available fit the profile of uh, different companies, small, medium, and large-sized uh, companies. So. Uh, don't feel like uh, uh, anybody is left uh, uh, behind or uh, outside. We are creating opportunities for, for everybody. Um, so to, uh, in a nutshell, um, uh, you might have uh, heard uh, several times now that uh, in, in recent years, there's been a lot of focus on um, bringing a lot of reforms into, into the oil and gas industry. The idea there is to uh, always look to improve the business environment. The idea there is to uh, make sure that we do develop the full potential of oil and gas that we have because we do believe that uh, that's the only way uh, for us to maximize the value of those potential for the country. At the same time, we do believe the only way to do that is to have the necessary conditions for you to bring your investment. We do know that if we don't have those conditions, you will not invest. So uh, come see us, uh, I have the uh, between tomorrow, today and tomorrow, uh, team members here come see myself, can, can, come see any of the team members for us to have a discussion on anything that you um, might see of interest. And one of the things that we're also doing is we are not telling you what to do. We are hoping that you can tell us what to do. Thank you so much.